Welcome back everybody. If you are new here, hi, my name is Nikki. It's so nice to meet you and I am a photographer who owns Instagram page Raw Footage Photography. So today we are going to be looking at Spirit Falls, uh, which is a waterfall that I have gone to once before, but when I went to that waterfall, I had just gotten my camera and had absolutely no idea what I was doing with the settings and I'm pretty sure I was still shooting in auto and not manual um, and since then I think it's been like a year later I have learned a lot more and there's also I also had my dog with me and I was trying to shoot it at sunset the first time I went and there was no sunset um, <laughs> at that location and so it was just like a blue junky mess and super noisy because I had absolutely no idea how to shoot at night so none of those photos I was actually able to use and the spots that I wanted to climb down to I didn't know where they were because I had gotten there at dark and left at dark <laughs> and so I went back with a friend and uh, did not take the dog this time and we went during the day in the morning and so I was able to see everything around me and I was also able to get all the um, focal length layers that I wanted to get for the foreground, middle ground, and background. So that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to figure out what composition I want to go with and pick out the three focal lengths that I want to use and then we will take those and throw them into Photoshop, align them, blend them manually, and then edit them in Luminar, throw it back into Photoshop to watermark it, and then I will be putting it through Topaz Denoise just to clear it up, get rid of any noise, and um, just make it nice and crisp and ready to be put on Instagram, which my Instagram page, Raw Footage Photography, will be linked in the description below. And if you haven't already, you should go ahead and hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video that I post every single week. And let's get to it. I like the water of this one. Um, so I'm going to gray that one. So now I need to find... Um, where this is this focal length is at i'm pretty sure i have it in the center because nothing really looks super in focus so uh let's see we're gonna go to library uh, plug in extras show focus points yeah see i have it straight in the center so nothing is really sharp okay so sticking with this composition basically I want to get um, the left rock structure here the right which if I get the left one the, this right one will be in focus and then I would assume that I would pick this major rock structure as a focal point, which would also get this guy. And if I did it more up here, I think it would also get here, but maybe not, I'm not sure. And then this back piece, which would also get this rock. So that's what we're looking for. Plug in extra, show focus points. Okay, so I did it kind of low there. Okay, so I did this rock. Okay. That actually could work. Yes. Let's plug in. So I'll do that one. And I'll go ahead and use this one too, because it'll get this very bottom piece. And then this rock will get this middle piece. And then library. Uh, show focus points. Um, 
Let's go to this next one. That goes to the middle. That'll get this top piece here. But also get this rock right here. And then, let's see what else we got. Okay, so I got... I can't remember which one... Um, okay, so I got that. Um, we'll use that too. And we'll use that as well. This first one is this bottom part. Second one is the rock. Third one is this middle piece, which is also this rock. This one is the center here of the waterfall. So it gets this back piece as well. And then this is... Is this the corner? Oh, I already forgot. Library, plug in extra show focus points. Okay, and this is this corner. Okay. And then I'm using that water as our base. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's take just a little bit of shadows out of each of these. Basically, basically the reason why we're taking out the shadows is so that way Photoshop has an easier time aligning all the photos together. I'm going to highlight these, like that, and then we're going to edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. I'm going to keep Lightroom open just in case I need to reference reference it so I can figure out what is what. <laughs> um, okay. We want this one up top. We want that to be our base. So this is what we want to add everything to. This one, this one, this rock structure is in focus. I think this one actually looks a lot better. I like this a lot more, so we actually don't need this one. I'll keep it there just in case. Don't use. This one is this rock, and that looks way crisper. It just looks a lot better overall. So this is going to be our foreground. This is our water, and then this 18, which was this guy, I think this was, go library, I think that was this rock structure, yes, this is middle ground which that rock is in fo everything here is in focus goes a little more out of focus up here which makes sense okay. and then 19 I think was this oh and there's a person right there cool <laughs> That's fine. And then, yeah, so this is the waterfall rock structure. Waterfall rock structure. Structure. And then this, I think, was up here. Yeah, that's all this. And I'm okay with this being out of focus. That's, this is the trees. Background trees. Okay. I'm just actually going to get rid of this. Blue layer. Yes. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do Edit auto align. There we go. Okay, so this is when we're going to do our masking layer. So I'm just going to zoom in. Not that much. Too too far. Too much. <laughs> um, okay, and let's see, paintbrush. Okay. It does this to me every time. Oh, it's because it's blurred. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, I'm just going to do a soft round. <laughs> 100. Do 50% hardness. There we go. <laughs> I'm just like, um, we're just going to go over. I'm just going to do the little bits that I can reach with my big brush. Same over here. I just don't want to touch the actual water. And then we're going to make this smaller. We're going to zoom in. Wasn't it? There we go. <laughs> Make this smaller. Probably shouldn't have started in like the bottom middle. Oh, also I always, always forget to take away chromatic abra uh, abrasion, aberration, something like that. And yeah, I'm going go nice and slow touch the water too much there. Whenever you're blending, you want to unclick a lot. So that way if you need to go back and redo something, then you're not getting rid of a whole section. You're just gonna follow follow your lines. Now this can definitely be tedious, but it's so worth it because then you'll have really clean lines. really really clean lines because everything will be sharp and it won't be fuzzy on the edges so these are all important all important things I might have to, you can see it's like nice and crisp right here, but it's kind of blurry right here. So when we do this middle rock, I'm going to have to get the top of this rock. Because I think, rock structure, because I just didn't get it. There you go, I think. I think this is done. It looks good. So I'm going to come over here, do a little bit more with this bigger brush, and then we're going to zoom in, make the brush smaller.
And again, just go over your edges. Clear everything up. There we go. And then, so that's the foreground. So now we're going to do the middle ground, uh, which is over here. And do a big brush. A lot of this will already be in focus. because the water is is focused right here so but I'm just going over anything that may have gotten missed from that shot and I'm not going to worry about doing the top part here because we have another focus point for that so I'm just going to go over this This is such a pretty, such a pretty scene. And I'm kind of just going going over this rock a little bit because it was a little no we do want to zoom in on this because I think part of this is becoming blurry let's see is that in focus? that is not in focus Okay, so we're not going to do that because that's not in focus. And then... I'm just going to go over this little rock here. Good. And then, okay, that was middle ground waterfall rock structure. That is this. That is this background piece. That's going to be all of this too, I believe. Uh, this is the background trees. That's going to be all of this. to crop it. Just that. I'm going to crop it. Yeah. And 
And then I want to get rid of this little plant here. I'm just going to go right up above it. Here we go. That looks so good. So this was my first attempt at doing Spirit Falls. <laughs> it's just super blue. You can't even see the falls. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently that was like the only I have this tree in the way. Yeah, it's just pretty awful. This is a terrible composition. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but, um... Let's see. Move to trash. Okay. And so this is the one we are working on now. So the very first thing I notice um, is that it is very, very green. <laughs> uh, it's just super green, more on the yellowy, yellowy green side, I believe. Yeah, this side here. Um, I also notice the water. The water is super blue, and I definitely want to increase that. Um, I want to take some of the shadows out, but I do want the contrast of the rocks, so I will contrast it. And um, I think I want the water to kind of pop a little bit more with the highlights. So that's what I see currently. And I might add a little like fogginess to it, a little glow. Um, so we want to blue it up a little. Get rid of some of that green. So let's do... Let's do 25. And do... Five for the tint. Because we do want that little bit of contrast in our water by having some magenta in there. Um, okay, um, and so we do want to take out some of the shadows, but not a ton. So let's do... Let's do 35 and then we're gonna do a smart contrast. See what's all the way, yeah. So we wanna do like 10 for the smart contrast or maybe even five. Let's do 10. Let's do 10 and then take out a little bit of the shadows. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Let's up the highlights just a little bit. Just to make that water pop. Actually, hmm. I think I want to take out the highlights because I can make the water pop with the luminance of the blue. But taking out the majority of the highlights kind of deepens the color of the scenery. 
Um, so that's why I'm doing it like that. And what I mean by that, if we go to color, then I think it's this one. Yeah, see, we can change the luminance. Um, let's see. So if we do that. So let's do this. I kind of want it to be very moody water. I really, oh, not saturation. <laughs> I really liked the deepness, the deep darkness of the cyan, I think it's called. Um, so I want to do that and then we can up, up the luminance of the blue to make that water pop. Let's see. Okay. So this purple, if you look right here, if you do that, it makes the water pop a little bit more and it makes the rock pop. So, Let's do 75 on that. Um, I really can't tell if this is changing anything, so we're just going to put it 75 to make everything pop. <laughs> Um, I really like how that's looking. That looks really good. And then we're going to go to, first we're going to go to the landscape enhancer. We're going to do the foliage enhancer like so. I'm just going to make everything pop. Do 20. And then do 50, yeah, do 15, Let's see what we're looking like here. That's so pretty, so pretty. Let's see. Oh, I forgot about the haze. Oh. I feel like I should definitely have done that before messing with the color. Let's do haze of 25. Actually, we're not going to do that. Um, we're not going to dehaze it. I should have done that first. Um, I'm going to do 10. some golden hour in there. I'm not sure. I'm kind of liking the golden hour. Not at a hundred, but what does 50 look like? Let's do 
Yeah, we're not going to do the foliage enhancer. Maybe do, do it at 15. And then we are going to go back to color. Go to green. So I do want the green... I don't know if I want I don't know if I want the green to pop. I think I want the yellows to pop. But I do want to change their hue a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, that looks very autumn. I kind of like that. I really like how that looks. I don't really mess with the hue shift too much, but I really like how that looks. Um, then maybe up the luminance by like 15 or 10. And then up the saturation by 10. Okay, and then we're going to go to yellow. This I definitely want to up the luminance. the reds in there. Ten. Let's go back to green. Okay, ten. Yeah, ten and ten. And then we're going to go orange. Definitely want the oranges to pop. Ten. Let's drop the saturation of the oranges a tit, a, a tit, <laughs> a tad. <laughs> okay, this, this is also going to make the rocks pop. So let's do that by 35. Really make those rocks pop. 25. And then... Maybe in the center actually. And I think overall let's up the vibrance but then lower the saturation a bit. It looks very fall. <laughs> it looks super fall. Shout out to Golden Hour by 10. Let's see what that's looking like. I'm liking how that's looking. I like how that looks. Everything just pops. 
And I love that. Love that. Okay. I'm going to do details enhancer. We're going to do, I always do five for each of them. Just to give it a little bit of a pop. Not a huge structure. Do five. Do five. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna turn off details enhancer. I'm going to go to AI Structure. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'm really liking how that's coming out. I think even with the light, Add in some shadow. Add in some more shadow. Be a little more dark and mysterious. No, I think for AI enhance, yeah. I feel like it's too white. It's like it's too bright. I'm going to dumb it down because I'm going to be putting a vignette on it. Let's see. And it's going to be bright in the center. Um, sorry, I'm still not super good at <laughs> editing and talking at the same time. Um, advanced settings, I usually do 55, about 25. Now this is more of a... Just kind of gonna move it around. I think twenty five will be good. So you can kind of see it moving. Feather it to fifty and our light of fifteen. There we go. There we go. Kind of darkens everything up. Two fifty five. So good. So pretty. Okay, so now I want to add a little, like, a little more love to it. So, let's see what Dramatic does. I haven't played with these. Nope, don't like that. <laughs> uh, mystical. Okay, so that kind of gives it Settings. Let's 
So. Okay, so for one, let's up this to like 50. Just so we can see. Oh, gotcha. So, kinda like it right in the center. Kind of like the right in the center. I sometimes don't always know what these do. Um, try 25. Do I like that? Not particularly, honestly. I feel like it really darkens up my rocks. But it does give it a nice glow. And then I can up the saturation by 25. Kind of make it more blue. Too blue. Let's see. Hmm. I'll go down to ten. I don't mind that, honestly. I think if we're gonna do that, um, and go to light and then take out some of the shadows again. So I think it just does makes it too shadowy. And then another question is are the greens too saturated? I feel like the greens are slightly too saturated. If you want saturation, you don't want it to seem unnaturally saturated. <laughs> so you think that looks a little better. So now we're going to open in Photoshop. And then we're going to take the paintbrush, switch it over to my stamp. Go to 600, opacity of 10, colors white. Do we want white? I think so. And then we're going to put on the grid. And so I had to figure out where I wanted to be wanted here. Can't see that. Can't see that. We want it right here. I like that. I like that the most. I tend to like the corners more. Let's change the opacity to 15. See what that looks like. Here we go. I like that. Because now I kind of blend them. When you look at it, it blends them with the rock. Let's see what 20 looks like. It looks like it's a little too, it's a little too much. It's too seventeen. Oh, 
we'll do 17. 17, I think, is a good compromise. <laughs> see. Yeah, that's good. That's solid. This is the direct corner. And we want it to be a little higher up off the direct corner. Like that. I think that is good. I think that is solid. And then we're going to open Topaz. I like to have it at 35 or as close to 35 as possible. <laughs> um, we're going to want to have it probably on the center here. First, see how it cleans everything up. Sharpen, do 75, 35, 25. See what this does. Okay. I think this would be better as AI clear. Let's do 15. Oh yeah. That is significantly better. Let's do low. Low sharpening to see what happens because the image itself is already really crisp that looks really really good I wish that they had a medium in hand sharpness for the AI clear that'd be really nice <laughs> Is good for preserving details and low noise images. See, I like that better. I like it with the. So I like it with the low sharpen. I think this is going to be the best bet, honestly. Let's look at this. And I'll do a comparison view. I may not. I think that'll take my computer a really long time to load, actually. That looks really good. I love that you can see the rock structure, like the water going over the rocks in the back. Alright, we're just going to stick with this. I like this. So we're going to do save image, Instagram photo, denoise. 
so that includes this edit with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate your guys' patience. I'm still very much learning how to articulate what I'm thinking while editing at the same time. And um, this photo will be posted on my Instagram page, Raw Fudge Photography, which will be linked in the description below. It, I appreciate that you've made it this far and since you have made it this far if you haven't already you should go ahead and hit that like button smash that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video that I post every single week uh, I thoroughly enjoy making these edit with me's I love the creative process and because every time you edit something it is different you try different things you learn different things you go for a different mood, a different vibe, and that's just the best part about it. Um, so, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, evening, week, or weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye!